Welcome to the sunny shores of Cape Cod. It's another beautiful night for baseball and the Bourne Braves are back in action. Baseball League, where the best players from across the country come together and square off against one another. We're back here in Katuit, this time standing up, but unfortunately we are the bearers of bad news as the Braves fall to the Katuit Kettleers with a score of 3-1. to one. But the bright side, you get to see us again. We got the Liam Sullivan, the Kerry Crowley, the Chris Jones, and I'm, I'm just Troy Lynch. But today Nick Jensen Clagg, he got the start, followed up by Brian Baker, three earned runs allowed. The entire game wasn't a bad performance. What do you think? Nick Jensen Clagg, first quality start in a Braves uniform. He was excellent. Uh, just a couple mistakes, uh, a couple singles in that inning where he gave up his first run. Uh, you got to tip your cap to uh, Brandon Berry with two strikes after he's unable to get the bunt down. Uh, able to uh, get a ground ball to short, get that run in, and then uh, unfortunately the, the play down the right field line with a great effort for Vince Fernandez to keep the ball in play. Unfortunately tumbles over the fence, allows a guy that's as speedy as Jaron Kendall to come around and score. Um, Jensen Cloud is excellent working around that. Um, his changeup wasn't the best we've seen it, but uh, it was still pretty good. He was able to get a couple strikeouts on it, and then the bullpen was much of the same. Offensively, the Braves only score one run in today's game. Is it just the same thing where they get runners in scoring position and then just can't come up with the hit? It is. Today was an 0 for with runners in scoring position. 3 for 18 against the Falmouth Commodores in those spots. And today they didn't deliver with runners in scoring position. So we'll see if this continues. But right now the Braves are not looking strong in those situations. Perhaps guys pressing and when that happens, sometimes things just don't go your way. Liam, you caught up with uh, Joe Lincoln and a few other players after the game. What were their thoughts? I mean, I talked to, uh, I mean, assistant coach Joe Lincoln, as you said, and, you know, he said that they're able to get those hits. You know, the, um, the, the Kettleers gave them a few errors, gave them a few base runners, and they just weren't able to capitalize. He thinks that they're going to come, and he knows they're going to come for this team. Uh, they just didn't come tonight, and he said that's just the game of baseball. But at the same time, you know, it seems like they're pressing a little bit at the plate. Good pick. Good pick. Liam, continue. It's a great player at right there. Good fundamentals. Great fundamentals. Great fundamentals. Player, he might be uh, my player of the game. And then I, I talked to Vince Fernandez a little bit. You know, he said that it just seems to always come down for a couple hits in these losses. Uh, the wins, they some, sometimes they run away with them. You know, but it seems like every loss the Braves are winning. So if there's anything good to take away from tonight, you know, the Braves are right in this one. A couple hits, uh, you know, right in that ninth inning though. They, Nick Solak comes up. He's been great in big spots, and not able to pull through tonight in the top of the ninth inning. But you know, they're in it at the very least. And this is a team that I think is going to make a late push. Yeah, I totally agree with you. Not a lot of good came out of tonight's game, but we're going to pull some good out of it with our Players of the Game segment. Chris, you go ahead. Go first. Uh, I'm going to go with Joe Lincoln. Uh, he was one of the, actually, between innings, even after they weren't able to get hits, one of the first guys off the bench uh, trying to encourage guys. Um, you mentioned his comments after the game. Has a lot of confidence in these guys. I think if you have that, along with a guy like Jordan Tabakman, who's in good spirits with the pitching is going, I think the way the coaches are acting, even in these tough games, that's good for the players to see that their coaches still have confidence in them. Love that pick. Joe Lincoln, always a solid pick. Great support from the rest of the coaching staff as well. Liam will go you next. I'm going to go to tonight's starter, Nick Jensen Clagg, and gives up a few runs, you know, but he got stronger throughout the outing, which is the way that he always seems to pitch. Uh, his changeup working well tonight, and he said, I talked to him after the game, said his location was key. Uh, able to spot his fastball, um, and that led to some success. Obviously, the offense couldn't come through for him tonight, but through six quality innings. Kerry, what's up? Take my guy, Chris Jones. Not only did he just make an excellent <laughs> textbook play with form, he also did an in-game interview with the Katua broadcaster, Dan Silverman, so obviously showing the hospitality on the Braves broadcast. And he went up into the Katua press box, where I don't think a Braves intern has gone in at least three decades. Hey, so that took some courage. That's just how we do it here with Bourne. <laughs> Class acts. Versatility. That's just how we do it. Well, guys, I think I got the obvious choice for the player of the game. Mother Nature. <laughs> yes. Thank Holding you for up. letting us play nine innings. There was a 90% chance of rain at 6 and 7 o'clock. 
we got zero of it. Maybe a little drizzle before the game, but nonetheless, we still got to play nine innings. But another oh, nine God. innings. That's a big <laughs> Mother Nature on the board. Yeah, well, you got to put her up there. Thank you, Mother Nature. But yeah, I'm uh, to the tally marks. <laughs> <laughs> well, Braves have another big game tomorrow night. It's going to be on Fox Television, so you're not going to want to miss it. They're going to be playing Hyannis 6 at Doran Park. Just also, make sure to sync up your TVs radio. with the radio broadcast. Oh, yes, yeah, absolutely. Mother Nature, I mean, put it we're going to need you to and come you're to gonna, play two nights in a row. Exactly. Put that TV on mute. Listen to these guys. You're not going to want to miss it. So for the rest of the Tomahawk Talk crew, we'll see you later.